In just minutes, a community will come together in search of answers following another shooting inside a North Texas school. But first, we are learning more about the student detectives say got a gun past metal detectors at Wilmer Hutchins High School and shot another student. 17-year-old Jakirian Rhodes Ewing remains in the Dallas County Jail. He's charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and unlawful carrying of a weapon in prohibited places. According to an arrest warrant affidavit, Rhodes Ewing shot another student in the leg using a 38 revolver. The handgun was recovered. The injured student is recovering. Candace Sweat joins us from Dallas, where that community meeting is about to start. Candace? Brian, the meeting that was called by trustee Maxie Johnson is expected to start in about an hour. Johnson was on scene last Friday in the aftermath of that shooting and said then that this discussion had to happen. Now on the agenda tonight are plans to discuss not only what happened at Wilmer Hutchins Friday, but the threat of violence in general at schools. Maxie Johnson called this meeting urgent and invited a few well known grassroots community leaders to talk about keeping guns out of the hands of students. Yesterday, students staged a walkout in response to how the shooting was handled. They told us they adhere to clear bag policies and walk through metal detectors every day. Still, this happened. Some told us they felt uncomfortable returning to school this week. Now, whether those policies will be discussed at tonight's community meeting will remain to be seen until it starts. This is not an official meeting of the board. Again, it's it's called by uh, and for the community, but students and parents do have very valid questions about these policies. We'll have the story tonight at 10 in Dallas. Candace Sweat, NBC5.